You are valuable in Christ. Let that sink in. You are valuable in Christ. Have you ever thought maybe the reason why the enemy tries to get you to be insecure and comparing and feeling less than is because he is afraid of your potential? He doesn't want you to know who you are in Christ. He doesn't want you to know how valuable you really are in Christ. But we're going to lay it out. We're going to go to scripture. We're going to find our value in Christ. You have intrinsic value and limitless worth. And I want you to know it. God wants you to know it. Let's go to scripture. First of all, he is the King of kings and Lord of lords. Revelation 17 verse 14. For he is Lord of lords and King of kings. And those with him are called and chosen and faithful. Second of all, he has made you in his his image Genesis 1 27 so God created man in his own image in the image of God he created him male and female he created them so he is the king of kings and he has made you in his image that sounds to me like you're pretty valuable but it goes on not only is God the king of kings and the Lord of Lords and he's made you in his image but he also says that you are the son or daughter daughter of the Most High God. That makes you royalty. That makes you a prince or a princess. Let's go to scripture. 1 John chapter 3 verse 1. See what kind of love the Father has given to us that we should be called children of God. And so we are. John 1 verse 12. But to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. 2 Corinthians 6 18. And and I will be a father to you, and you shall be sons and daughters to me, says the Lord Almighty. Galatians 3, 26, for in Christ Jesus, you are all sons of God through faith. Romans 8, 14 through 17, for all who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. For you did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption as sons by whom we cry Abba Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God and if children then heirs. Heirs of God and fellow heirs with Christ provided we suffer with him in order that we may also be glorified with him. Guess what? You are valuable in Christ. He's the King of kings and Lord of lords. He's made you in his image. You're a son or daughter of the Most High God. That makes you a prince or a princess of God. That makes you royalty. That gives you authority. You carry the authority of a son of God. You carry the authority of a daughter of God. And the enemy doesn't want you to know that. But now you do. And now you declare it. Say this with me. I am valuable in Christ. I don't need affirmation from anyone else. I don't need approval from friends. I don't need approval from family. I don't need approval from culture. I don't need to compare to anyone or anything else. God made them them and he made me me and I am his workmanship. Let's go to scripture. Ephesians 2 verse 10 for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Psalm 139 13 through 16 for you formed my inward parts you knitted me together in my mother's womb I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made wonderful are your works my soul knows it very well my frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret intricately woven in the depths of the earth your eyes saw my unformed substance in your book were written every one of them the days that were formed for me when as yet there was none of them you are valuable in Christ Romans 5 verse 8 but God shows his love for us and that while we were sinners Christ died for us you are valuable in Christ 
Christ. Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. You are valuable in Christ. He loves you. He loves you with an endless love. He made you on purpose and with a purpose for such a time as this. He didn't make you for a hundred years ago. He didn't make you for a hundred years from now. He made you for today. He wanted you today. He wants to know you. He wants to speak with you. He wants you to know him. He wants you to hear his voice. You can hear his voice. If you've given your life to Jesus, he causes his spirit to live in inside of you. That's how much he loves you. That's how valuable you are in Christ. Ephesians 2, 4 through 9. But God, being rich in mercy because of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved and raised us up with him and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus so that in the coming ages he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace and kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith and this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not a result of works so that no one may boast. We have got to get this in our spirit. You are valuable in Christ. I bet you know this one. John chapter 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Oh, Jesus loves you. God loves you. You are valuable in Christ. Say it with me. I am valuable in Christ. Say it one more time. I am valuable in Christ. Your value isn't determined by the job that you do. Your value is not determined by your body. Your value is not determined by who likes you. Your value is not determined by what you've done in the past. It's not determined by what's been done to you. Your value is not determined by your job. It's not determined by your body. It's not determined by your sex. It's not determined by your money. It's not determined by how much you make. It's not determined by what you've learned. It's not determined by your degree. It's not determined by whether you get the promotion. It's not determined by whether people like you or don't like you. It's not determined by your boyfriend or girlfriend or husband or wife or kids or parents. Your value is determined by God. Your value is not even determined by what you've done in your past. It's not determined by what's been done to you, by what's been said to you, or what people neglected to say to you. Your value is not determined by anything else but God. Nothing in this entire world can make you less or more valuable. You are valuable in Christ and nothing can change it. You don't need to look for approval anywhere else. You don't need to look for affirmation anywhere else. You're already valuable. You're already beautiful. God already thinks you're worth his time. He made you on purpose and with a purpose. He loves spending time with you. He loves hearing from you. He loves the way you look. He loves your skin. He loves the way he made you. He loves the way your heart works. He loves the way your mind works. He may want us to become more like him. Of course he wants to keep healing and transforming our lives and making us more into his likeness, but that's just rescuing us back to who he's created us to be. He loves you. He died for you. If you've given him your love and affection and follow him with your life, if you've put your faith in Jesus Christ, he puts his spirit inside of your heart. He dwells inside of you. You are valuable in Christ and nothing can change it. Nothing can take it away. You are valuable in Christ. 
Say this with me. I am valuable in Christ. Let's say it again. I am valuable in Christ. You are not less than. You are not below. You are not behind. You are not underneath. You are the head, not the tail. You are not an accident. God doesn't make accidents. He made you on purpose and with a purpose for such a time as this. You are valuable in Christ. It's time to know it. It's time to live like it. It's time to let that set you free. You are not a half person. You don't need to look to be completed by anyone else. You are whole in Christ. You are valuable in Christ. You have great things to offer this world in Christ. You are golden. You are priceless. There is gold inside of you put there by God. You have a great contribution. You have something great to contribute to this world. You have a great calling on your life. Jesus loves you. Jesus wants to use you. Jesus wants to utilize the gifts that you have for the kingdom of God to lift other people up, to raise people up, to heal people, to help people, to set people free. You are valuable in Christ. You have a role to play. You have a part to play. You have a gift. You have a talent. You have an anointing. You have a calling and nothing can take that away. Your calling is irrevocable. Jesus Christ made you and loves you and you are valuable in Christ. You have intrinsic value and limitless worth and you are valuable in Christ. Say this with me. I am valuable in Christ. Let's say it again. I am valuable in Christ.